Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how you can use an Amazon Dash button along with a Raspberry Pi to make a smart doorbell for under £30. The Amazon Dash button isn't programmable, so to do this we have to intercept the request that is getting sent to Amazon using a Raspberry Pi. So as you can see on the diagram here, the Dash button sends what's known as an ARP request to the wireless router. The Raspberry Pi is then going to intercept that request. It's then going to send a little packet of data up to the internet to if this then that and then that will then send us a notification on our mobile phone. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create an account at if this then that and then you need to go on the applet maker and create a new applet. Click on this and you want to do a quick search for maker. Select maker and select receive a web request. In the event name, I tend to just call this doorbell, but you can call it anything you like. Then click on that, and you want to search for notifications. I tend to just take everything out of the notification box, and just pop in, there is somebody at the door. This can be any notification you like, and it's what will be sent to your mobile phone when somebody presses the button. You're then going to need to go back to the If This Then That homepage, select your username and click on Services. You will be greeted with the My Services page. Select Maker, and then click on Settings. You will want to select the Maker URL, and open it up inside of your web browser. Grab the event trigger key, which is this URL here, and I usually just use the address bar to do this. Copy it into the address bar and change the event to the doorbell event that we created when we created the applet. Copy and paste this and just take a note of it. Okay, now you're going to want to SSH to the Raspberry Pi. If you don't know how to do this, there's plenty of YouTube videos. And then you want to run the following command. sudo apt-get install, and it's npm for node package manager. Once that's installed, you want to go to the second link in the description. This is for a bug with node on the Raspberry Pi, and it's a quick fix. So copy the following path. And then you want to use nano or your favourite text editor to go ahead and edit this in the terminal. You want to do a quick search for enumw, it's the quickest way to find the code. You can do that by using Control w and use Control k to remove the code that's already in there. And then you want to paste the code from the GitHub page into the file. The second fix is we need to update npm and node. We can do this by using npm in the command of sudo npm-g install npm node-gyp. Again, I will put this in the description. I have speeded this up. It will probably take around three or four minutes. Okay, once that's done, you just want to create a directory. I've just called this Dashbell. This is where we'll store all of the files for the Dashbell scripts. And then if you go on to the third link in the description to Dasher, and you just want to copy the link to clone this with Git, and do a Git clone inside of the folder that we've just created. Okay, we now need to go ahead and install Dasher. So change directory into Dasher once this is cloned. And then do a sudo npm install. This will probably take a few minutes. Again, I have speeded this up for the video. You 
You will get some errors and warnings, but these can be ignored and it is completely normal. Okay, so once that's installed, you're going to want to find the MAC address of the Amazon Dash button. So please make sure that it's connected to your network. And if you have a look in the script directory, there is a find button script. So we can execute that by typing script slash find underscore button. Hit enter, and you're then going to have to press the button on your Amazon Dash button. Once it's been pressed, it will send an ARP request to the router. Or, well to Amazon, um, this will find the request and tell you the MAC address. So take a note of this MAC address in the same place that you took the note for your maker URL. Okay, so now we're going to have to go ahead and create a config file. So if you just use nano again or your favourite text editor and you need to create the file inside of the config directory and call it config.json. I've gone ahead and created a template for the config. Um, I have put a link to this in the description. If you go ahead and paste that into the terminal window and you then want to go back to the note that you took and grab the maker URL. So the maker URL just needs to go in between the quotation marks on the URL part of the config. And you can just paste that in. And you want to do the same for the MAC address and put that into the address part of the config file. Use Ctrl O to save this. And then you can go ahead and type sudo npm run sorry start run and hit enter once it's loaded the config file it should tell you that the doorbell has been added and once you see this you are free to go ahead and press the amazon dash button and as long as you've got if this then that installed on your mobile phone logged in with the same account you created this with once the button is pressed you will get a notification on your phone And there you have it, the finished Amazon Dash and Raspberry Pi smart doorbell. In part 2 I'll be hooking up some speakers to the Raspberry Pi so we can also play sound. If you liked this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.